You're listening to a LTA Sex Podcast. LTA Sex. Sex Positively. Welcome to Behind Closed Doors, the podcast where we talk about sex, relationships, and life completely unedited. I'm your host, Jerome Stewart Nichols, writer, sex and relationship coach, and creator of sexual lifestyle blog, LTASex.com. If you know me, you know I love talking about sex basically all the time. Uh, Behind Closed Doors is your chance to get a bit more raw and personal with me than ever before. Most often, I'll be talking to my partner and submissive Bubby, but you'll hear me musing by myself or sitting in a room with any random person from time to time. Behind Closed Doors definitely isn't your average sex podcast, but it's not about the size. All that matters is how deep and arousing the conversation is. If you like the show, make sure to subscribe and tell your friends about it. You should also consider giving the show a review on iTunes. Make sure to check out LTASex.com for more from me. You can find more info on Behind Closed Doors at LTASex.com slash Behind Closed Doors. If you're one of those people using social media, you can also find me, LTASex, or Behind Closed Doors on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud, uh, all of that shit. Alright, enough of me talking about this bullshit. Let's get to the sex. Okay, it's recording. So, neither of us are feeling that great. Not feeling bad, just sort of blah. Yeah. I'm really in my head. You are... Um, I think I'm getting depressed, maybe. Depressed, maybe? Yeah. Why, maybe? Um... That's what it feels like. I mean, I'm not quite sure what's going on yet with my head, my body, and everything, but, like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting depressed. I feel that's what it seems like, at least. Why does it feel like that? Why does it feel like that? Yeah. Um. Like, what makes you think that's what it is? Well, I'm... My body hurts, and even though I've been, like, active this morning, like, I feel like I have no energy, even though I have energy. Like, I feel really, like, weak. Like, my body feels weak. And, like we said earlier, I I feel like I have this general, like, gray cloud over my head. And usually when that happens, I know that, um... That's the beginning of me getting depressed. Those are like some symptoms that I get along with it before I really go into depression. Does it ever come in, like these symptoms come and then depression doesn't come? No. Okay. (laughs) Not really. Not, like they can be separate, but when it's all together like this and I feel this general feeling... It's most likely depression. Maybe it's because of the weather changing. I mean, even though it's been nicer, like maybe because it like got it was so shitty and then it got nice so quickly. I don't know. If that has anything to do with anything, but well, I know for me. I just can't stop fucking talking in my head. That's really pissing me off. (laughs) Welcome to my world. I feel like I've lost focus. Yeah. Like, on the outside world, and it just sort of, like, automatically turned itself inward. And Mm -hmm. that's not great for me, because, one, I'm an extrovert, and two, it's just so fucking loud that it makes me tense. Or maybe the maybe it's a, a symptom of the tension. I don't know which one which one That could be. All I know though is, is like Why do you think you feel tense? I think I got scared. You got scared? Yeah. By what? When I woke up the other morning and didn't feel good. Because of your Adderall? Mm-hmm. 
maybe it kind of shell shocked you a little bit. A little bit. Because you were like, "Oh, I'm doing great," and then I was like, "Oh shit, I'm not." I'm not doing great. Maybe that that kind of would explain a lot because you're a very on your shit. I like to be on top of things kind of person. You know, it may you said it makes you feel sane and in control. And maybe that shock of oh shit I'm really not not as okay as I thought I was I mean that makes sense maybe it did kind of scare you a little bit I mean I know it scared me because I was actually almost having like a panic or anxiety attack whatever when I was sitting on the couch and I was talking to myself in my head but I was trying to play it cool for some reason what does that mean exactly? Like, play it cool? What does it mean to play it cool? I mean, as far as you talking with your head, what does that mean? Play it cool with you. Outwardly. Oh. Not oh. sure that I was as freaked out as I was. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, it didn't work, obviously. Mm-hmm. And I find myself grinding my teeth even more. You've been grinding your teeth a lot in your sleep, and I I know I've told you that recently, but... It's been happening more. Yeah, I'm still waking up, and you're still, like, going at your teeth. (sighs) You have a mouth guard. I need a lot of things. And that's okay. Number one, I need to stop worrying. I need to stop talking to myself. <laughs> I just read all these fucking articles about things you could do that... It's true, I haven't been doing them, but I also... Um, don't know if I start doing them, if they'll work. Well, Normally, for me, the cloud just breaks. And I can never exactly predict what it'll... Like, when? Yeah. It just kind of clears. Yeah, I'll, I, something will happen, something will shock, shock me, and I'll just be ready for it. And then, it'll happen. Is it always a shock? It's usually subtle, but sometimes um, I'll notice it with a shock. Yeah. Um, what, what were some of the, um, what were some of the advice that they gave? on your articles like to do go for a walk which we're going to do yeah focus on your breathing which is something that I uh, always try to go for because I remember feeling great um, doing yoga and things yeah but I've been trying and I can't quite seem to get the breathing thing right maybe you're overthinking it and it's not well obviously I'm overthinking it it's not even it's not even an option for me to underthink not right now at least never never cronk release the lever (laughs) pull the lever wrong lever why does she even have that lever I don't know it seemed like a bad idea really no, well, that's actually one of the quotes of the movie. Why does she even have the lover? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the point, bitch? Uh-huh. Get your shit together. Mm. So it said breathing, walking, mm. probably exercise. Yeah, but the thing is with walking. me, if I'm not outside my body, out of my head, um, exercise doesn't really work. Like, I'll, I'll spend too much time focusing on, like, all the ways that my body feels. Every single impact. Every single, like, creak. Every like time a muscle gets... Like, treadmill or something. Yeah, like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll just keep thinking about how my body so feels. And I won't be able to get... worse. Yeah, there's just, like, more things to think about. It, it makes the exercising worse. It makes it... It doesn't make the condition work. Or worse. It makes but. it counterproductive. I sounds like it. Probably. 
I want to. I want to say no, but who? Honestly, like, let's be real. It probably does. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't. I mean, talking in your head can be a lot. It is a lot. It, you know, especially if you're not used to it. Because you're always outside for the most part. Or you appear to be, or you at least try to be. When I'm happy, I'm outside. Yeah. And I'm always inside. For the most part. And your head can get really loud and really annoying. It is really loud and really annoying. And it's just like you just want to rip your head off and throw it down the fucking stairs. I do get like that sometimes. That this is actually what causes my depression. Is me fretting over this. And then I'll get so fucking tired of dealing with it that I'll just sort of like spiral into a little depression. Yeah, it's just so much goddamn work. It is. I that felt good to say. How about? It's good to, like, put that out there. I think it's interesting that you actively fight to, like, be out. And I just fight to maintain in my head. <laughs> like, I'm always probably going to be in my head, in my body. Like, I'm, just, I'm an introvert. That's just kind of how I am. But, like, I just fight to maintain it to be reasonable and you fight to be out of it I guess it's interesting I gotta fight to get out of my own way huh I have to fight to get out of my own way yeah no and I just have to maintain my head maintain your head how does that work um I mean honestly I've been learning a little more about it with like our talks with like lessons that you've been teaching me and stuff like um I mean I, sh- I shared this with you and I've I've actually been doing it still and it's been helpful for me um because we get nervous when we're away from each other especially Bubby Bubby's a puppy and one thing I've been doing is um, especially when I'm at work and then you're at work or you're here or whatever like I'll get anxious cause like you're not here with me like I'm not or rather I'm not there with you you know, I don't know if you need something, if you're okay. And my head always goes to, like, the worst possible thing, you know? Mine doesn't go to anything bad. Mine does. Mine's kind of been trained to go to the worst possible thing. I'm going to turn my phone off. Okay. The other thing they said was to get rid of distractions. Yeah. And it's true, like... When I just sometimes, like, I'll just, like, lay in the bed by myself or lay on the floor. And I'll listen to the silence and my head will go crazy. But it's easier for me to do it when there's nothing to distract me. And I just realized that. Because eventually you can get it to... Eventually, I can sort of walk it, walk it there into quietness. Yeah. But if you're playing on your phone or on your laptop or like if there's music doing going something, or it adds to the noise. In the it adds other. to the noise in my head. Yeah, I get that. Oh, well, it's funny because I'm again, I'm the opposite. I drown out my head with. The music. That's what I do on a normal day, and yeah. I, and I'll stay like connected in a stream of like music, and then I'll see something and I'll react to it like outwardly. Yeah. 
I'm coming to like to just be quiet. That's nice. And if I'm quiet, there's normally something wrong. That's true. That's how you get when you're like upset or like XYZ, you get mm -hmm. quiet. Well, my face isn't particularly happy. No, I mean, well, yeah. You. It seems like either your mind is revving so much that you're just like exhausted, maybe. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Or maybe it's, like, trying to start and you're just, you don't have, like, the gas, if you want to put it in, like, a car metaphor. You don't have the gas to keep the engine running. So either maybe... Maybe my alternator's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, like... I'll go for a while, but when that charge goes... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cause like you're still going, you're still being productive and whatever, but I can tell there's it's very lackluster. Something and it is sort of all over the place. Yeah, you're kind of all over the place, mm -hmm. and I'm not. I am used to it, but not this way. You don't. You don't seem as. In control, as yeah, you normally are, that. and I'm not trying to put you down at all. I make you feel worse. Yeah, you don't. You don't seem as on top of your game as you normally are. That's like the biggest sign, I guess, to someone from the outside. I could see that. Because usually you're... Always observing and looking at the outside world. And yeah. but you haven't been looking around as much. I don't. You don't look around. I've noticed that. Like, your eyes are very stationary. And you're not, like, kind of occasionally bouncing at different things. And I notice that you do that when you think. Like, your eyes are very kind of, like... Yeah. You know, like that. Like just. I'm just saying things I'm noticing. Well, it, I mean, it's good to know know these things. I, I didn't know these things about myself, really. Yeah. But God like, damn it. Let's give me this blanket. I am. I brought you your blanket. Oh, it's behind me. Yeah. Yeah, it's it might be time for a nap. We may not go to Kroger today. Oh, they really should. We should be getting out of the house. I just. But I mean, we could. What the fuck was that? Oh, it was the Xbox. You hit the button. Oh, the goddamn thing is. Touching. It's it's touch sensitive. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't even. It doesn't press have an actual thing. button. You just you press the fucking thing. Yeah, you barely Ugh. wave your finger over it and it open. It's like. I think my mind might be moving too fast. That's what I meant by over revving. Like, like my heart's been racing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll get out of breath sitting down. Like, re like recently because that of just this? happened right now. That sigh was because I, I felt like I was running out of breath. You need to slow. I need to calm down. I want you to have a heart attack. I'm not going to have a heart attack. I don't know. See, my mind goes to like the worst possible fucking thing. 
Well, yeah, well, Why don't you have any of that? Because you son of a bitch. My doctor said no more. No more for you. Bitch. And by no more for you, I mean he moved and my other doctor didn't bother to get filled. That's rude. Yeah. Even though it's in my chart. Doesn't make sense. You know, doctor can probably fill it. Oh. Yeah, probably. I'm giving you a hug in my head. Puppy hug. I have no focus. Before I could respond to your question, I started wondering what was going on with this goddamn blanket. Crumbs? Mm hmm. Oh, I have no idea. We're fat and we eat in the bed all the time. That's what's going on. Yeah, that's 110% <laughs> accurate. <laughs> it's the bed buffet. And not just of booty. Bed, bo bed and booty. It feels like we've been talking forever. How long have we been talking? 19 minutes. Seems like it's only an hour and a half. That's why I checked the goddamn thing. I think we should keep talking, though. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're getting somewhere? Mm. I don't know how helpful my conversation was. I feel like... I'm going in the right direction of thought, at least. Because... It happened again uh, because it is. Let me just talk. Let me see if I can talk and see what happens. Because I want to see if I can focus on talking. Because that. I have a point to make later, but. Like... Go, well, go ahead and make your point then, because I don't know how long I'll be talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and by all means, like, I. You don't want to talk, I can tell. <laughs> I just don't feel like I have the energy to. I don't know what else to really like. I'll I like talking to you, but if it helps you to listen, I'll listen and make an occasional comment. And you know it's funny. You notice how all of a sudden my demeanor has changed. Mm -hmm. I can hear. I did not realize that my hearing was affected. Nothing's ever loud enough. Have you noticed that I've been having to repeat myself a lot with you the past couple of days? I could see that. I'm like, distant. I know that I like, I know that I mumble and stuff, but like, I've been having to repeat myself like a lot. Like last night, like I don't know if you noticed when I crawled back into bed, you were like half knocked out. But after I, we fucked, after yeah, you, I told you, I that, don't remember anything after we okay, fucked. Okay, because I got loud. Meaning a normal, normal sounding voice with you, because I told you to move over like four times, and by the fourth time I was like, "Move." I was asleep. I, you did move, but I, I was like, "That's not my fault." No, it's not. It's just you I've, bitch. I've been having to repeat myself with you a lot. I've noticed, like, since this has happened. But have you noticed that I'm more patient with you? You seem to be. Because I'm slower. Yeah. I'm on your level. Mentally right now. So this is how slow I am all the time? Yeah. And you're always like... Yeah. Let's go. Let's get this moving. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I seem exactly dour? Somber? Okay. Maybe a little... Oh, uh, what's a good word for that? A uh, melancholy. Melancholy. Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know if... I was about to search my phone. Never mind. Um, I got it. I, I don't know if that's the exact word I'm looking for, but melancholy seems good. 
is that's not exactly like negative, is it? No, I don't believe it is. I think it's. Uh, I mean, I'm looking it up right now, but like, I think it's just like a general sort of like demeanor. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I wonder if that's like the uh, the precursor to, or not precursor, like maybe like the technical term or the real word for the blahs. I want to say it is. <laughs> Do you know what that nasal spray is? Yeah, let me get it. Um, <laughs> melancholy, a gloomy state of mind when habitual or prolonged depression. Somber thoughtfulness, pensiveness. I'm melancholy too then, I suppose. Cause, causing melancholy or sadness, saddening a melancholy occasion. Sounds like you on an everyday. Causing sadness? No, summertime sadness. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Lana Del Rey. Lana Del my Bubby Del my, Rey. Lana Del Rey, my new album is one continuous song. <laughs> Ultra boring. <laughs> Ultra snoozing. I'm so cool. I I don't have to be interesting anymore. No, ultra silent. Oh god, please, please make that album ultra silent because I just don't want to hear it. I want you to take it to mute and then mute the mute. There you go. We're snorting cocaine. Ah. <laughs> no, I can feel myself having like well. sinus problems. I took two red pills. Good. But I wanted to. That's why I've kept them by the bed for you. I wanted to get that, because I can actually feel my uh, tonsils, like, swelling. I hate that. Maybe you're getting cold or sick or something with the water. No, I'm eating allergies. Allergies, I mean. Which lately has been my version of sick, because I don't really get sick anymore. No. It's just been, like, me getting some sort of sinus infection and... Or, like, just a sinus reaction. You know what I feel like? What? I just realized that how I feel on the outside is how my brain is on the inside. So you need to get inside yourself and I need to get out of myself but because we, we're doing what each other should be doing. Yeah, I feel like how I am in my head is manifesting itself outwardly. Like, it's not really bad. And it can be happy, but it's overall just kind of meh. I can see that. And kind of leans towards a little negative. You know. I feel like it's manifesting itself outwardly. How I am. How my head is. When it's... Where's your head at? Where's your head you don't, No. You know what this whole thing has made me think of is Ashley Simpson. Out of my, out, out of my, my head. Get, get out, out of my head. head. That's such a fucking weird video. And I it love is it. a weird video. But it wasn't it supposed to be like Alice in Wonderland or some shit? Yeah, basically. Basically like Gwen Stefani's, uh, What You Waiting For? Mm-hmm. Which I honestly, that song is an inspirational song for me. What you waiting for? Yeah. How come? Because it's literally about her having writer's block and not being able to write her solo album. Yeah. That's what she said. She's saying that to herself. What you waiting for? Yeah. You know it all by heart. Why are you standing in one place? Born to blossom, bloom to perish. Your moment right, might run out because of your sex chromosome. She's saying like she feels like she's getting old as a woman. So she, her time might be over. Isn't she in her 40s now? No. She's almost 50. She doesn't. She's looking good. She looks real good. How are her kids doing? Like, I believe one of them is... Kingston? I honestly don't know their children. That is the most boring family. Gwen? Yeah. Who's she married to? Gavin Rosdell. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gavin Rosdell. 
I'm in love with a girl that loves me back. That's Gavin DeGraw. DeGraw. Oh. <laughs> At least you got the first name, man. Right? No, you didn't. Gavin Robstell, Gavin DeGraw. You didn't even get nothing, right? The both music. Hmm? The both music. It's about the most basic spectrum you can do for a movie. Both male. Both white. Both incredibly boring. Both first name. Both incredibly boring. Both with brown hair. Yeah. Although people see. think Gavin Rossdale is really cute, and I just don't get it. I don't know if it's Pixar or Disney that's coming out with the emotions, the inside out, where it's like all the little emotions in someone's head. You know what? I was. I want to see it. I was recently having a problem with that. Oh. I. Because I was, saw this post on Tumblr, and it made me sort of like. really reconsider. Like, because I always wondered why the women in Pixar all look the same. They're all shaped like a couple of circles stacked on top of one another. Or like a circle. Like upside down snowman? No. Because oh. the women in Pixar are very hippie. They all tend to be. Oh. DreamWorks has I've different seen... looking women. Is DreamWorks the Incredibles? Disney is the Incredibles. DreamWorks is Shrek. It is Despicable Me. It is Madagascar. Yeah. Um, Pixar. Pixar is Toy Story. Toy Story and The Incredibles and Big Hero 6 and I can't even remember. Yeah. But what, what they all look like Disney princesses. Yeah. That's how all of their faces are shaped. All of their like bodies are very like super womanly. Yeah. And I was looking at it, and they, they they actually did, like, a tracing the lines of the face, and all the women had, like, these cute little button noses and these round, like, soft faces. They looked all very the same, and I was just like, that's so weird. It's not every single one, because, like, in the Avengers, the daughter's face is very long, but she still has a button nose. Violet. Yeah. And the men have a lot of variation in how they look. Their noses are different. But they isn't different jaw lines. But isn't this one like? Aren't they like shapes? They are, but their faces are all the same. They're all round faced with a cute little button nose. I thought they look like little Miss Sunshine characters. They do, all with round faces and a cute little button nose. Maybe that's like their staple. It. I don't really care if it's their staple or not. It's Eurocentric and it's a bunch of bullshit. Just like Pocahontas should have had a wide fucking nose. But she looked like a white woman. Jasmine should have had a wide fucking nose. Because she's Arabian. But she looks like a fucking, um... She looks like a fucking Indian. She might be like Desi descent. Mm -hmm. When I went into that store the other day in Ann Arbor... Mm -hmm. They had With her... Colleen. They had her pants... Jasmine's pants? Those pants that look like that. Oh, wow, yay, fun. But everything was from, like, the actual places it was supposed to be. And well, yeah, you gotta source your appropriation from the real source. And it was run by brown people. Oh! That's the thing, I forgot to mention. That made me happy. Like, the all the people that were in there were, like, some sort of brown. But uh, were the owners brown, or just the people working there to give it a little color style? The owner. She was the owner. Oh. She's the she is the owner. That's even better. She's Desi. Hell yeah. I'm for that. Yeah. Because, like, all the stuff. I'm all for people profiting all, from their own culture. All they have, all the stuff they have is from, like, India and China and. I think my like, thing broke. Your baby? No. The thing in my head. Yeah. Because you found out that there's a correctly run store in Ann Arbor? No. Remember when I said I could hear? Mm hmm. That hasn't gone away. Good. My body feels like it's calming down. Maybe my heart wasn't racing at all. Maybe I could just feel my heart. Fuck. 
that remember the first time we took Adderall and you could feel your heart and I was like, oh my God, this is weird. Like you could feel it. You haven't been on it for a while. Maybe it was just a side effect. Maybe I'm reacclimating. Yeah. Because you took a lot of it to begin with, like to get yourself kickstarted. I remember feeling that the first couple of times I took it because it was like, oh shit, I can feel my heart. It felt like I was like having a heart attack and anxiety and it was like, no, it's just the medicine and now I don't even like feel that. Holy shit. It's silly. Holy shit. I forgot about that side effect. Do you remember what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. And I thought it was the Adderall that was giving me an increased heart rate, but the fact that I could feel it. Yeah. I could feel it. I could hear it. Yeah. Because everything around me was so quiet, and I could hear it the blood your, pumping in my it ears. It makes your chest like feel kind of light, and like it's... Yeah. <laughs> they do have mutton noses. Yeah, they all the it. girls do. All of the girls. Round faces, cute button noses. None of them have pointy chins or square faces. They're either an oval the, or a circle. What about the boys do? The boys have ovals, circles, triangles, rectangles, pentagons. Different shapes. Different shapes. Because like most, like say a guy with a chiseled jaw, he's normally going to have like a, a, a pentagon shape where the point, the fifth point is downward. Yeah. Because they'll have that pointy butt chin. They are, the girls are around, of mm-hmm. some sort. All the girls are around. He's... I think, actually, I think the roundness might be, like, a shortcut for femininity. Maybe. Because they do make the men all very blocky. Block. He's literally a block. The little angry guy is literally a square. And, of arms. course, the guy, the guy, it's going to be an angry guy. Because guys are angry. That's a male stereotype, too. Yeah. And this guy is like dopey looking. But it's weird. The male stereotype is that men are angry, aggressive, and crazy. And then the female stereotype is that they are wild and psycho. Psycho's the word they use for their for that. Crazy bitch. Like so they're unstable. Whereas guys are just like I guess righteously, Rachel. And of course, the light one is the hero and the best one. Joy. At what least, does Joy look like? Joy looks like Tinkerbell. She looks like a white Tinkerbell with blue hair. They even chose her skin color to look sort of like to an look, Asian person, actually. Yeah, and... She has like a green dress and a little pixie cut that don't if and a ponytail. Was, if it was yellow, she'd be fucking Tinkerbell. If her hair was blonde. Huh. It's loving. Cause she's the one I'm seeing in the middle for all these. She's the most human looking too. Mm-hmm. And of course, the fat fat one is the lazy sad one because sad people are fat and lazy. The one that's worried, the one that's sad, is fat and lays on the floor a lot. And it's glasses. Wow. Fuck that movie. Yeah. I thought it was like a cute movie because it was like, oh, emotions, that's really cute. And then now I'm looking at it and I'm like... What the fuck? The one that's scared all the time looks like a fucking crackhead. It looks like a method. Yeah. And she's green with envy. Yeah, she's, I was thinking Because the, gr- the girl can't be, like, righteously mad. She's just, like... She's just a bitch. She's envious. She's rolling her eyes. She's okay there, but not there. These must be, like, screenshots. Yeah, I think so. She's got, like, hips and tits. Her? Yes! Yeah, and she doesn't... And None she, of these other girls have. She shape. has a fucking tummy. She has a little tummy. Like she's fat. <laughs> she's fucking fat and sad, and she doesn't even have a fucking marshmallow on her stick. <laughs> oh, That's because she's the depressed one. 
Her marshmallow is behind her for some reason. Maybe it fell? I don't know. Maybe she pooped it out. Look, that's what it looks like. It looks like poop. <laughs> she has white poop. What? <laughs> this is such a weird one. It is a weird movie. Because I remember seeing the fucking preview for it, and I was like, oh, this is cute. But then the more you look at it, it's like... Is it is it going on inside the head of a man or a woman? I don't know. You know, it's going to be a white bitch. Yep. What? It's a white bitch. That hair is curly. It could be... Jewish. <laughs> I appreciate that you're trying, but no. Don't be hating. We have like a twenty minute talk about fucking cartoon characters. Yeah, because but that's not characters are important. Well, that's not a movie importante. We go light incense. Or in here. I, uh... It's weird. If I'm distracted long enough, I feel like I can get out of my head. Because the, the other thought process will come back, but if the conversation dulls, I go and I start... Cycling again. Yeah, my head becomes louder. It's frustrating because it makes me feel sort of like I don't have my shit together, which is something I say a lot. And uh, it makes me feel like <clears throat> like I'm losing. You're losing? Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm losing. Losing something? Losing the battle against my head. It makes me feel like the joy is only temporary. Yeah. But on the bright side, it is nice to know that it's there. And that I also know how to access it. Because I also said that I needed conversation and laughter. that make you feel better realizing the heart thing? Yeah. Made you feel a little less anxious? Yeah. Maybe. I'm feeling my body less. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad I could feel my body though because I can feel how much my teeth are hurting. Yeah. Because I've been clenching my jaw a lot. Because of tension? I guess. It actually might be from the weed. Really? It's a side effect. It's a common side effect. Clenching your teeth? Mm hmm. Really? Mm hmm. Huh. I don't think I do that. <laughs> or at least I haven't noticed it. Not there at all. Hmm. What the, I did not know that. Yeah, when I was first starting smoking, I wanted to find out, like, what the side effects were yeah like what the actual side effects are there's a um if you have mental illness the chances of uh, experiencing psychosis increase um i don't believe it increased the chances of psychosis in people who weren't already mentally ill though yeah. um and then the teeth clenching they do say like erectile dysfunction I've heard that one. Um, they say long time users, uh, when you stop using it, it, you can have like extra anxiety. Okay. And I can't remember anything else. Paranoia. Paranoia, I could see that. Um, sometimes I get paranoid. I get paranoid when we do it at night, and then I have to go and lock the door. I get really fucking... That's why it takes me so long sometimes, because I'm scared that I'll go down there and someone will be down there. And the door won't be locked and they'll get in. 
Like, I make sure that th- that's why I've been locking it, like, twice. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll get a little paranoid that someone's going to try and get in. And... I don't like that. I don't like that either. It's not all the time, but sometimes I'll be walking down the stairs to lock the door and I'll be like, oh god, I hope, like, no one tries to get in. And then I'll, like, double lock it and, like, make sure it's double locked. Did your parents tell you that shit when you were a kid? That, like, people, people, I would, I was very afraid of the dark and very (laughs) afraid of, I'm still afraid of people walking behind me. Mm-hmm. It freaks me out. Like I, that's why I let people go ahead of me because I don't like people following me. I never have. We've only been talking for another twenty minutes. <laughs> it feels like forever. I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Um. Yeah, they would. They would tell me shit about like walking. Your You're gonna die. You're gonna die, like, oh my god, stop it. You're gonna die soon, you're gonna die soon. It's not cold in here, you're, you're just dying. dying. What is that from? You're gonna die, you're, you're gonna, gonna die, die. you're dying. What is that? Sarah Silverman. Yes. She's yes. in a nursing home with her guitar like acoustically in, singing it. You're, you're dying. It you're is the dying. best, it is, it is like one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She can be a bit much sometimes, but she can be a bit much but sometimes. She's, but she's funny. I think a lot of comedians can be, but I mean, I think that's part of the point of comedy. Ah, fuck. What? You know what I just realized? Hmm. Part of why I don't like talking about politics is because, and I, I know that's weird because I talk about politics all the time. Is because I don't always have facts about things. But I know certain things to be true because I sense them. I can sense when people are lying. I can sense when things are incongruous. Yeah. And I'm very accurate with it. Yeah. To the, so, so, like, I trust in that a lot. Yeah. Because it doesn't fail me. Like, it, it can. Like, I can be tricked. But... Like intuition or whatever. Yeah, my intuition is just very, very strong. And my logical brain sometimes doesn't exactly work. And when I try to be logical, it sometimes ends up being, like, worse. I have a good procedural thing. Because a lot of times I play... I just sort of, like... Improvise. Yeah. I, I guess. Which is why I'm good in bed. Yeah. Because I, I never have a plan when, like, we're going to fuck or we're going to do a scene or whatever, and I just do whatever is fun in the moment. Like, I'll get the I, idea to choke you, and then I'll just be like, fuck, yeah, I'm not just fucking choking this bitch. And I live in the moment all the time. That's where I const- yeah. I'm constantly... Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck her in the pussy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You can't say pussy on the news. You can't see tits on the radio. I'll give you five fingers for a one man show. Hi. Yeah, you're feeling better. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. That's good. Yeah, that is good. It feels nice. I feel lighter. You've seen lighter. My teeth basically don't hurt anymore. They basically don't hurt anymore. I was, I was licking I'm them. I'm talking with a lip. Fuck any fuck a thosh. Stop it, Sylvester. Oh my god. Don't be a bitch. Back A. Yeah, you're fine. God damn it. You're fine. Kathleen. I, I'm still worried that it's going to go down. Because I can feel it fluctuating. But it's fluctuating with a net positive growth. Don't let it go down, man. I can let it go down. I like I can't force it to go up. I'm just talking. I'm trying to talk and say talking and stay in the conversation cuz what I decided to do early on in the conversation was that I wanted to focus on your voice. My voice? Yes, hearing your voice as clearly as possible and blocking everything else out. 
and it's worked well. Because my head is not char- churning anymore. Yeah. I can't even really remember the things that I was worrying about or that I would question. I can still feel like a little tension in like my body, and yeah. I feel like that's going to have to come out in some other way. Yeah. Um, but I think drinking was a good idea. I accomplished what I was trying to do last night. You know what's funny? When I explain that, I feel exposed. Why? They're my inner workings. And I guess it seems sort of pedestrian to be so... controlled by my emotions. Saying that made my heart race. Maybe you're and saying that made my heart race. Maybe a little guarded. A little guarded? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little guarded. Mm-hmm. That's okay. But it's okay to be vulnerable, too. I'm trying to become more vulnerable with I you. I can tell. I am actively making an effort to do that. It is not accidental. <laughs> You've been actually, like, saying more things. It's because like I feel them more. Feelings, like, towards me and so um, Maybe me letting my guard down for you has let my guard down for myself. Mm-hmm. Maybe they're one and the same because I'm an extrovert. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Oh, shit. Thank you, Janelle Monet, for solving that for me. I'm locked inside a land called Foolish Pride. I am. I will say I appreciate that you trust me enough to let your guard down like that. That feels really nice. What are the rest of the words? I'm locked inside a land called Foolish Pride, where the man is always right. He hates to talk, but loves to fight. Is that all right? Yeah. So I'm asking you, will you stay with me in the land where we are free? And I know it's rough, and we've had enough, but one day we'll be happy. I don't like seeing you like this. I don't. I just said that to you. I don't. Because <laughs> I got to be honest with you, one of the first things I tried was like I wanted to focus on trying to make you feel better, but I just didn't have the energy. You don't have to make it. I know, but me focusing my energy on you would have helped me. You know, I've been focusing on. Helping you you focus today. on Mesa? What do you think I've been doing all day? Mm. I've been crying daily, even though I don't feel like good. Well, maybe that's giving you the power. The energy. I've got the power. Okay, I'm done. That incense smells really good. Black cherry. Really? I like it better than the vanilla. Also, I can't feel my tonsils anymore. My nose is really clear. And my... Are, are there sinuses right here? Yeah. They feel lighter, like emptier. Sinuses are right here, all right here, and here, right in there. So, here's what I think we should do. And you know what's funny? One of the things it said in the in the art, one of the articles I read is that when we are out of our head, or one of the ways that we can get out of our heads is by thinking uh, step by step make a plan and I Can just I, for the first time made a plan why do you think I'm so anal about planning all the time 
That's why I get so nervous over plans and what we're doing and who's going to be there. God damn it, my balls are descending. I like your 12 again. I didn't realize that when I was tits, like, I, I noticed that when we were, like, trying to fuck and I couldn't even keep it hard. It was like, that's partially because my balls aren't... You're, even when I was, like... They're not flapping yeah, like they should. Even when I was, like, sucking on them, like, they're very, like... Tight. I was, like, trying I felt to, cold all over. Yeah, you know, like, I was trying to get them, like, to work, like, back down and it wasn't working. And my muscles are really sick in my pelvis. How I've been your... feeling tense. How does your back feel since I gave you on this one? I can't feel it. So that's positive. Oh, okay. That's good. Bear. Mm. I like you. Mm-hmm. God, this helped me a lot. Good. I'm glad I'm bear. Just talking. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Motherfucker! You always send me to talk when I'm in my... Motherfucker! Fuck! I am such an asshole! Mm. Oh my god, I did this to myself! <gasps> Fuck! What? I did this to myself by blaming myself for doing it to myself! One of the things I was being quiet about when this first happened was that I was blaming myself and I felt stupid. I even wrote that in the article. I felt stupid for not taking my medication. And I just felt so disappointed, like so fucking crestfallen in myself. And I never said that out loud until right now. So basically you did... You had a prolonged version of what happens to me daily of, oh, you're stupid, and then you kind of spiral out a little bit. But yeah. Yours, but yours was prolonged. Yes. Yeah. That's what it feels. Because as you're describing it, I'm like, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so, like, I started, like, I was disappointed in myself, and then I kept beating myself up, and then I got really tired that day. And then it just sort of, like, zapped me. It takes a lot out of you. And I got energy, and I was like, I forgot about it. But then I'd been nervous about my performance. I'd even had, like, free erections that afternoon, like, the afternoon when I was feeling better. But then I woke up the next morning, or, like, whatever, and I started getting nervous, and I started worrying about me, like, being able to stay hard to fuck you. And then that's actually a lot of what happens every time Like I start thinking about it and then I'll get distracted. I'll distract myself from thinking about that, but I can never really focus on this. And then sometimes I'll think about things that are happening outside or things that are happening in the world. And I just like... So you had a bubby. Huh? So you basically had a bubby. I had a bubby. Fuck. That's... Now you know what it's like when I get criticism and it's and I'm trying to work on that but like when I get put down or I put myself down in my head that's basically a prolonged version of what happens in my head but and my body but it's faster that's how it feels it's horrible and you wonder why I am the way I am that's just why I don't wonder why you are you fucking psychotic mother is why you are the way you are but I'm really not that big. And also, you're you know. loving Mister. I'm really not that as much of a mess as I claim to be. Oh, I know you're not. I'm just anxious and have depression. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm, I don't like. And aren't you glad you've been able to discover that for yourself? Yeah, you know, it's nice to know that I'm just an introvert who has social anxiety and depression and ADHD. You're not some bipolar maniac get so effective I just need to be quiet and alone sometimes that's okay and sometimes I need to be quiet along with you Mm. or talking along with you yeah and I need to talk about my feelings more you do I like it when you talk about your feelings it makes (sighs) we all yearn to connect that was another thing that's why I decided we should do the podcast. Because we're seeing a lot of similarities in each other right now. Hmm? 
with how you were feeling, we're seeing a lot of similarities. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe that's good. Maybe that's. It gives me a new respect for you because I've never done this before. Oh shit, I have. This is exactly what it's like every single time. What? Every single time I do that depression spiral, where I'll wake up and my head is just won't shut the fuck up, and then I'll get super tired and I'll just like smoke and jerk myself into a stupor and then pass out for the day. Why do you think I'm constantly? <laughs> Cause I gotta stay high all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I. Uh, 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 turn into California girls. <laughs> and, uh, oh God! Get your spray your your whipped cream titties out. I just want to spray this jizz on you. Mm-hmm. I do want to fuck you so bad, and I have to pee right now. And this is the first time I've had to pee like really bad mm-hmm. in a while. Well. No, I'm gonna let it stay because it's whatever. But here's what I think we should do. Um, I think we should get dressed, go to Kroger, come back, chill. Thought we weren't going to Kroger. I know, but it's like one o'clock. It's like one something. It's not that late. It's like one twenty-one. We just missed the bus. Yeah, but we'll shower now. We'll take a shower. Continue talking, I suppose. I might hug on you a little bit. You want to get hugs, don't you? All the hugs. All the hugs, Bobby. No hugs? Come on. Let me give you the huggles. I went and bought some huggles for you. Yeah? You wanna eat some ice cream? Oh my god. We have ice cream. I think my life just got better. I'm glad that you're stepping out of your little box you were in. That wasn't a box. I know it's not a box, but... It was like a salt circle. <laughs> like the white hot flames of hell surrounding them. It looked like the white hot flames of hell. Really, it was just like I had a bunch of open wounds and I didn't let the salt to sting me. That's a good metaphor. There's snail trapped in a salt circle. Oh, the snail's trapped in a salt circle. You're the snail from Adventure Time. I'm the snail from Adventure Time. Correct. But don't doesn't the snail from Adventure Time kind of teleport? Mm. He gets possessed by the life. Well, he is possessed with a lich, but can't the lich teleport? No, because he has to run, and Jake and Finn are... They have to catch yeah, him in that, the that episode. Of box, yeah. And then the wish grander guy, yeah. Yeah. He can't teleport. He's not that magic. That wish grander guy, that's Camille Nanjiani. He's a um, comedian. Yeah. I believe he was also on Franklin and Bash. No. With the guy from Saved by the Bell. Zach. Zach. Um, That's the only person I know from Saved by the Bell. Zach from Saved by the Bell. Whoa, that's a good game of like degrees of Kevin Bacon. You want to do some bacon? I want to do some drugs. Let's do drugs. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucked up. I'm gonna get fucked up. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna get fucked up. Uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so I think we should go. See how much money we get because we didn't take like, all these fucking bottles. Yeah, we gotta pay Rachel. Oh, we haven't paid Rachel yet? No, I remember. You have cash sitting right there. I know, she said Saturday. What did the matter? She was in a rush yesterday. She was late. Oh, okay. Yeah, or else I would have. What time is she leaving work today? Because her car is out there. She'll be there when I get there. Okay. Well, then just bear when you get to work. 
that's what that's what I was saying. No, I was thinking we'd just buy some bullshit. Or like I'd get um add some money with it to get some more of those like sausage things and more of the Klondikes and whatever. Because that's a really good deal right now. It's 33% off. Yeah. No. Yeah, 33% off because they're normally two ninety nine. And those fucking Atkins mills are normally $4. It's so like 50% off. So personally, I think that's pretty good. Bobby. I love you. Thank you for helping me. You've been helping me a lot recently. I'm trying to. I do have a good puppy. Maybe we should take a shower. You wanna wash me? Yeah. Maybe we should take a shower and then go for a walk and then by that time the bus will be there. That's a good idea. And then, because we won't have that much time when we get back. Spliff. On the lawn? Yeah. Because I was saying, it's going to be like 2.15 by the time we get back. It'll be 3 something, and then I'll have like a half hour, and then I have to go to work. Mm hmm. Till. You said you were getting liquor, right? Yeah, I probably should. Because I don't want to go back inside myself again. I need to be able to have, like, a shot or two so that I can... It eases the transition. It makes makes things, makes things it seem less emotionally painful to express myself. I'm actually finding alcohol to be very used. I'm using it to my advantage recently, and I really enjoy it. Yeah. I've been using it to not only just be more social, which it really helps me, like, be more social... Or else I would not go to tap room. It helps me be more social, but also just sort of, like, carefree. Yeah, I get a carefree element. Because that's, I feel like that's a lot of what my, my guard is. It's like, it's care. You care too much. It's worry. You care too much. I do care too much. I care about every fucking thing all the time. You care about what people think of you. I do care what people think of me. I do, but... And that's but silly, but... I do, but then sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, fuck you, I'll do what I want. i do what I want! It's my pussy! Yeah! I'm Rick James, but you kept saying that last night. I'm Rick James, bitch. Even my laugh is getting... It's getting... Your demeanor is changed. Yeah, it, my laugh whole, is getting more cheerful. Your whole person has changed. It has. And I think the thing is I have to, like, talk to me in the morning. Just, like, us talk? Or maybe I should record a podcast in the morning. Maybe I should record a podcast for a different podcast. I was interested in starting like a mental health diary podcast where people would be like, would talk about their good days and bad days and document them for themselves and every and other people. It's not bad, yeah. I don't think it is. I'm trying to find less. Plus what? I I have no idea how to word it, and I'm not gonna try. Don't be a bitch. I'm not. You are. You're being a spectacular. It's spectacular. It's a spectacular, spectacular. Montgomery, Montgomery. So exciting! It will run for fifty years. 
Roxanne. You don't have to put on that red light. Roxanne. I really want to see a play. You don't have to sell your body to the night. We should go see a play. There's something playing at the Ark, I'm sure. Or a musical or something. Let's make it happen. I like drama. Of course you like drama. That's why you always say you're more fucked up than you really are. I was always really good at drama class. <laughs> I can imagine. Oh my god. I got, like, weed parts since I was, like, little. You in Asia? Hmm? You in Asia have something to talk about. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm tired of talking now. Actually, I'm not tired of talking. I just really have to pee. Yeah.